Hello, Plastu. Greetings. I'm Laura. I'm Joe. Welcome to the Slovak farm. This is the farm where we grow grass. <laughs> One stitch at a time. Brain.exe just... Super Monday. It's a Super Monday. <laughs> oh. It's the Monday after Thanksgiving break. <laughs> oh, it doesn't help the last two nights. I don't know why. But my body is gone. You want sleep? No. You don't get sleep. I messed my hair up shaking my head like that. Apologies. <laughs> it has been a it's been a weird Monday. Mm -hmm. That's just all I'm gonna say. Monday show. Hopefully y'all had a good week last week. You enjoyed your Thanksgiving if you are in the U.S. and celebrate Thanksgiving. We had a good Thanksgiving. And if you didn't, I still hope you had a nice day. Well, right. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope your day was, your Thursday was fabulous. You know what? I got a question. Or is there anybody outside the U.S. that just has turkey for the fun of it? Or is turkey, like, is turkey, because I know turkeys are an American animal. So I don't know that anybody outside of Amer North America has turkey. I know Canada has a Thanksgiving that's in October. It's like usually a Sunday in October. I can't remember exactly when it is. Uh, that was just a random thought in my head. Okay. So, yeah. Someone's going to tell us. Um, yeah, hopefully you all had a good week. I mean, it was a good week. We had a good Thanksgiving. We moved stuff on Black Friday. <laughs> that was our day Friday. Moving furniture. Yeah, we helped the in-laws. We need help. Four people makes things easy. My parent, yeah. My mother got my my great grandmother's uh, china cabinet, and I have my great grandmother's buffet dresser. Um. So, but we we had to move the china cabinet over the weekend. So that was fun. And Saturday we went up to Destination Yarn, which is a yarn shop, yarn dyer. She's a yarn dyer. All of her, obviously all of her, for, for, if the name connotation doesn't indicate it, all of her yarns kind of have a, oops, all of her yarns kind of have a, uh, I don't know how long that was blurry. Apologies. All of her yarns have travel they go with places during the pandemic she did a fantasy yarn sort of travel uh. she did lord of the rings um so like an ape set <laughs> yeah so but uh she normally does not have her shop open like shopping hours you can buy online you can contact her and go up with a group and shop with her um she does trunk shows she does uh, like yarn shows but she actually had her shop open house and had a bunch of stuff on sale and the person in front of us spent like $700 I thought I was kind of crazy with what I spent like I'm pretty sure she was sitting here going I did like I, she was probably looking at this going I never thought somebody would need two of these bags like she had those bags they're just huge and she sells good, high-quality yarn. It's not cheap. I don't think she ever expected... Like, the fact that she wasn't batting an eye scared this me. This is the size of her bag. This woman had two of them, and they were full here. And they were, like, bursting. Yeah, she had multiple of full sets of different things. Which, if you save up your money and that's what you do, go for it. But I was just a little bit like, whoa. Shocked. It was really cool and entertaining me while you had to go use facilities. I do. I'm like, I have to go to the bathroom. It's like a 30 minute drive home. I'm not going to be able to make it. So. Moving along from that. <laughs> right? But yeah, the lady who sells it's really nice, though. She is. She actually, she really is. So we had a good week. I hope you had a good week. We're going to shout out our commenters. I did not write them down, so I'm going to have to help him with names. Okay. It's been a little bit of a, a hectic day. Okay, so let's go. Andrea. Okay, let's start at the top. Where are we going to start from? Okay. Uh, we go bottom. Andrea. I go bottom up. That's June. June. Does she? No, she didn't. Uh, Tracy. Tracy. Angie. 
Fools is good. Andre. Bridget. That's Lynn. Lynn. Hi, Matt Marty. That's the person I want to know. You're the one. To, do you eat turkey in the UK? Yes, you will tell me, Morty. Do you eat turkey in the UK? Teresa. Teresa, PD Stitcher tomorrow. tomorrow. Yep. So thank you all for commenting and sharing some fun with us on video. On the video last week. Let's move into whips. At some point, we are going to get interrupted because the oven is going to sing at me and I'm going to have to stop and take dinner out of the oven. Just throwing it out there. You did not stitch this week, did you? So it's my turn. Yeah, I had a very... I didn't even get to play the, my games as much as I wanted to. My brain was so frazzled over the weekend. It was... Yeah. So it was not monogamous stitching this week. And there were no finishes. But I'm not going to lie. There was a metric ton there of stitching. There was a finish. There was. Not cross stitch. <gasps> this is true. I'm going to have to grab that one of the thing goes ding, 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 and I have to stop. ding a ling ling ding a ling a ling 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 But let me tell you, there was a lot of stitching. Uh, honey? What? What's new? Start with me, I'm I stopped. I'm still trying to find out when I stopped. We started the week off with a random needle loose. With Stabbing Death by Laura. Started the week off with Tales of Oldest Time, the Storytime Stitches Sal. That drives me nuts. Here's where it started. And I did 308 stitches on it for the sal prompt. Here's where we are. It is on a piece of random silk weavers that is, I believe, 16 count. Uh, worked on... This is... I finished up uh, the Beauty and the Beast block. And started on the... This is called the fight block, so you know this is where Beast kicks Gaston's butt. You ready for random Joe thoughts? What? Would you actually know the only reason why that fight actually took more than three seconds? Uh huh. Disney has a problem with the beast ripping Gaston's jugular out of his throat with those claws. I'm sure. Like, did you see what that guy did to a brick wall? Uh, exactly. Like, literally. Exactly. It's the equivalent of having a lion look at you and go, No. No. No leave. No leave. Okay. Well, alright, so, we had Rainbow Week in Daily 30. We're not going to have a plan section, are we? We have a plan section. Okay, we want to, like... We'll get that. there! Okay. Continue, like, to this We'll backwards. get there! We'll get there. <laughs> the lovely Joe put all of Rainbow Week on two projects, which was fabulous. So the first one we did for Rainbow Week was, no, I'm sorry, three projects. It's AMSR Week that was on two. Um, yes? Yes. So the first project we stitched for Rainbow Week is not that. Can you pause really quick? I want to mention something. Well, I had to explain things to him. I also ended up having to dig for this. And then thingy happened. So and then the off. oven went off. So, you know, we got all of it taken care of. Yep. I was psychic. Okay. For Rainbow Week, I did a project with identical parts. Stitch on your piece that uses the most colors. Stitch on your PC uses the most colors. 
and stitch on and uh, rainbow color choices. I did them all on Christmas in blue. Now, I did use my double dip pass that I had from the Halloween pop-up. So I only had to do two sets of stitches on it, not three. <laughs> But still, two sets of stitches this that week was this past week was eight hundred and eight eighteen stitches. Blah, blah, words. Eight one eight bum 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 eight one eight bum 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 bum. Yes. Where do you want me to hold? Here is where we are. Yep. This is on a piece of twenty eight count opalescence. This block is all full coverage, y'all. So. I finished the top fill-in part, did the stand in here, did around the little border, started the little shepherd guy. I don't have him filled in yet. Uh, it's all full coverage, so it's got to get all filled in. But that is 818 stitches is because it's full coverage. But it is nice full coverage because it's only a few colors and they're in large color they're in large chunks of colors. So no confetti. So no confetti and I don't have to go <laughs> Lara exe go Yeah basically. Next contestant. Your cover photo is over there. Oh please. Next contestant, the whip that contains the most colors, I Luxe Dressmaker's Daughter. That's a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot. Uh, it is a lot. It is so much that the way I decided to stitch this was, it is, I'm going to stitch, I started with spring. I'm going to stitch all of spring. All of spring and then move to winter and then summer and then autumn i'm doing each like season individually uh, because the thought of having that much floss in this bag is what makes me go Burr. like seriously that's how we're gonna do it here's where it started somewhere at some point This is on a piece of 32 count uh, mud pie. I don't remember what I called this. Mud pie sounds good. So that's what it's called now. This is 450 stitches. I basically just kind of worked on the outside edges of the skirt, getting the colors kind of completed. There's like two more colors in the center. I'm just going to complete the dress. The thing I like about Mirabilia's is once you get to the dress... You know, it's fairly sizable chunks of colors, or they go in, down in strips. Pretty easy. It's the face and the hair that drive me nuts. Because she does, um, you know. So that's why you like this project. Yeah. The face and the hair drive me nuts because she uses like three or four colors to make it look natural. She blends colors. It looks fabulous when it's done. It's kind of challenging to stitch. And I don't do my skin over one. If you do your skin over one, congratulations. Fantastic for you. I'll do that. But, so that's Dressmaker's Daughter. Rounding out the week of Rainbow. Rounding out Rainbow Week. Is there a thing? It's a thing. I used my high low pass on the stitch with on the whip with water snow is frozen water and there's snow on that it's really hard to see the white there is snow on that so jingle all the way was my whip with frozen was my whip with water i have to find the project and this is on a piece of 32 count heirloom. I did 335 stitches. That actually, the snotchy shows up pretty good on the fabric. 
it looks good on the fabric. A, I'm not, but it's not quite as... So you're supposed to use the same white for the big house. A, I'm not going to have enough. B, it doesn't show up enough for me to do the house on it. I have a plan for the house. I was going to start on the house this week, but I really didn't have a great start point for the house. So putting in this tree helped with that. And then I just did the snow here and I finished the horse and sleigh. That was 300 and what did I say? 335 stitches. So it's looking good. I also went through my lips and kind of determined like what I want to finish in 2024, what I want to put significant progress on in 2024, and what if I get significant progress on a finish, I don't really care. So that is Rainbow's Week. Now we're going to tell you all about my insanity. That was, we. I finished that on Thursday on Thanksgiving, on Friday. Black Friday, we got our new prompts for. You forgot a piece. I'm gonna get dark. I will get there. On Black Friday, we got the new prompts for Daily 30. I have already finished my monthly, I have already finished my yearly. So the only thing I had to stitch on was ASMR week for Daily 30, which was released on Friday. So I thought. Film the plan section so you guys can get the plan. So I can start stitching on it. And you, but you guys will still get the plans. Joe can still pick out my projects. He picked out of all of two projects for AM SR week. And I have the week all done. That was not part of the plan. That was wasn't it? part of the plan. Um Oh my god! I was going to put the plan too. section that we filmed after we talk about the whips, once we get done talking about the whips. I'm done with it. So let's start with the cell portion of that oh, week. Oh my god, come on. Hi, Bandy. Oh, did you get... Which was Supernaturals. So I did my 311 stitches on Supernaturals. Hopefully I have the... Hopefully I have given myself enough time to insert a picture of what's going to look like complete and a picture of what it's going to look like started. That should be enough time. This is stitched on a piece of 32 count heirloom by the Slovak Farm. The ghost block was finished. I just finished dropping this edge down here. I put the two bats here. This is the corner. And then I started the next block, which is the demon. And I had to do here and I started there. Uh, so that was 311 stitches. Very much only a couple of colors. So it went quick. <laughs> She's gonna start squeaking her toy. She wants her dinner. But we're almost done. All right. One of the two projects Joe picked out for um, ASMR week. Song dog samplers leave a kiss. I'm not going to tell you what the prompts were because you're going to see it in plants here in a second, and I don't want to bore you to death. I do need to stall though to give myself time for that. Hope I showed you the cover photo. Three, two, one. Really, because. Uh... And by the way, it paused when I told you. Okay. When you put it down, you hit the button. I accidentally paused it. So this is on 18 count. I believe this is gunmetal. Yes, this is gunmetal. I did 415 stitches on it, which is in here. Why does it look blurry? It's not. It just looks it. I 
I think it's actually having trouble with the color combo. It could be. Uh, this is DMC. It is DMC 3607. So it's not a variegated, it's just, but I do like it. It does look blurry. There we go, that's better. I was trying to zoom in on the... I was trying to, it, the, the, the needle miner was causing focusing issues. Well, it's also, I think that this... The story of my life right now. Super Monday! Super Monday. And finally, I ended the weekend working on Midnight Sale by Shannon Christine. Finally pulled out the colors. The other colors it needs, not just the black. Oh, that's what you're doing. Okay. Yes. I have the l For it. I am not stitching that uh, moon in full on metallic. I have a texture issue with that. This is on a piece of 32 count fireflies by me. I did this for three prompts, so it got 653 stitches on it, which was this part of this this part I and, I, and then I finished both of these sails and started on the bottom of the boat I've got black thread going everywhere because it's I'm trying to not make the back super bulky by crisscrossing like gaps like here and here so there's kind of black thread going everywhere until I get it done but I think it looks gorgeous on that fabric yes it is Yes, it does. Okay. So here's where we stop. I insert the plan section, and you understand why I stitched on these two projects. On these last two projects. Okay, it's Black Friday, and we're filming the plans portion of the video. Solid chances the second time you're going to hear the explanation as to why, because I probably will forget by Monday and repeat it before we head into this clip. <laughs> and then we'll forget to cut it off. <laughs> Anyways, the Daily 30 prompts for the new week were released this morning. It's the only thing I have left to do in Daily 30 for the month. I'm finished with the monthly. Uh, you saw that. Y'all saw that two weeks ago. And we only have six days to do it, so I figured since he's off work anyways today, I'll just go, we'll just go through, we'll just film the list, you know, the choices. I'll stick it in the video, Monday's video. Okay. I, I, I think that's a good plan. And then I can just work on stitching them over the weekend. They're only, it's only 100, 200. I may get it done before the end of the week, before Thursday, the end of the month, but. Okay. You know, okay. So, it is Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response Week, ASMR. Uh, a lot of little fun facts about ASMR. Whispering is the most common ASMR. That is probably the one that I dislike the most because I don't like people I can't understand. So that's why you like me. I, I, My I, whispering is normal volume. Audio triggers me. Like, it does, volume, audio volume triggers me. Anyway. Anyways. Uh, so, stitch on your most relaxing whip. Probably could fit any of my whips onto this, but I picked the sampler that I, the monochromatic sampler that I will not name. Uh, the choices are the monochromatic sampler that I will not name, Long Dogs Leave a Kiss, both of those because they're one color, it's very relaxing to stitch, and then my stamped heart, which <laughs> I would probably say if like you were to put a gun to my head and say you're absolutely most relaxing, would be the stamped heart because there's like no brain involved in it because it's all stamped right there. Let's take your pick. 
Leave a kiss. Leave a kiss. I think monochromatics are very relaxing to stitch. You agree. <laughs> okay. Uh, visual ASMR things like cutting and shaving and I'm thinking coloring would fall in there. What are some other things that I've randomly seen on the internet? Rug cleaning. Yes, rug cleaning or ASMR videos. I have to follow a channel on Facebook that rug cleans. It's fascinating. Anyways, uh, that sort of thing. So stitch on your most visually stimulating whip. For these, I picked projects that, I mean, they're, they're projects to me that are, the look of is striking or I really, really like it. So the sampler that I will not name because it's a very dark, almost black gray against white. Leave a kiss. The color, the color opposite opposition to me is very stimulating. Uh, the Shannon Christine Midnight Sail, the silhouette of the ship against the big moon, and then my stamped heart because succulents are one of my most favorite things. Midnight Sail. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so ASMR is and tactical things, so like tactile, tactile things like running your finger. The example put in the put in the prompt is like running your fingers through your floss on floss drops. Well, that's not something that I do. So we're we can pick our whip of, ch whip of choice, but then we have to explain something that is tactile to us about our stitching that's tactilely simulating stimulating to us about our stitching i don't put my floss on floss drops so that's out i'm gonna have to think about that part of this honestly uh doesn't midnight sale have beads on it <clears throat> Um, yeah, so Midnight Sale has beads on it. Shannon Christine Bell has beads on I don't have to stitch on one of the ones with beads. He's got a point, because when I do beading, I kind of like to... I don't know why, but I like to do this on my beads. A, it makes it... make. A, I'm making sure that the beads are secure, but also, I don't know, I like playing with my beads on my projects. Well, I was going to do Midnight Sale anyway. Okay. Okay. But I was giving you an idea. I'd write down, I'd write the Z beads. Yes. All right. Number four is negative ASMR. Things that immediately elicit you to stop the stimuli. When we were, when I first read this, my first thought was, my first thought was, and you're supposed to relate, you're supposed to, the prompt is to relate a project to something that would give you a negative ASMR response. I jokingly said Victorian way because I've lived in houses that close to each other and I hated it. It was a very negative feeling. But I've thrown an asterisk on this. I still have my whip of choice from the pop-up at the end of last month. So I'm just going to do whip of choice. So again. Um, okay, I was actually going to say... Technically, every single project you have has negative because you get so many stitches into it and then you want to stop. That, that, that is not incorrect. She has a limit. That's why she stitches 20 projects at once. I do. <clears throat> but, pick a, pick a, pick a project. Uh, you, uh, leave a kiss. Okay, so we're doing that one for four. And then the last prompt is talking about if ASMR is real and the scientific evidence to back it up, and some people say it isn't. I don't know. I mean, I know I find videos, I don't know, like a couple of days ago, a video of somebody coloring in big blocks of colors with markers popped up and I sat there and I watched it. So of course that triggers Facebook to continue to pop up these videos like this. And I sit there and I watch them because it's interesting. Or I find something about it fascinating. 
I don't know if ASMR is real. I, I, I really don't know. Uh, uh, can, can, can I rant? Sure. As somebody with ADHD who's literally been told it's all in my head more times than I ever want to think about, it is impossible to actually know what's going on in somebody's brain. Because by the time we figure that out, we won't have any problems with our brains. Well, and this is very true. And whether or not there's, I suppose there's scientific backing that it helps. I know plenty of people who watch these kind of videos and find them very relaxing. So it's got to do something. I fidget with stuff, but that's my ADHD. Is it this as well? Who knows? Every problem I have, the doctor just tells me, well, it's your ADHD. I can sit there and say any other mental illness out there, and they'll say, well, it's all because of your ADHD, because of the imbalance in your brain. So trust me, this stuff triggers me. Whether or not it's real, the person who's doing it does believe it. Leave them alone. You know, if sitting and watching someone shave soap, or cut kinetic sand, or color, or whatever. It, it really, if somebody enjoys it, who the heck cares? That's what I think. Um, so, we're to stitch on a whip of choice just because we like it. So, pick a whip, I guess. I mean, that's it. I want to do that one for five, too. I like that one. Works for me. And I got the DMC and L12 to do the uh, moon. I got it a while ago to work on the moon so I don't have to do it in all metallic. Because that is a negative ASMR for me in a hot minute. I have learned that after doing a few projects with some solid metallic on it. I will never do that again because I have learned that it is a negative thing for me. And it's why I avoid certain projects. Okay, so now we're gonna go change shirts into our back back into our shirts we're on, on in on Monday. Sorry if that messes with anybody's head. <laughs> I think we should be smart horses. And just wear these on Monday. I mean, I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> so, and we'll finish up the video from there. All. Oh. Mm-hmm. I did some shopping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I haven't seen it all gathered into one place until now. Holy! <laughs> I know. Like, okay. This is what I was waiting on last week to get delivered to me. It is a rosary a day from New York Dreamer. Yes, it says a rosary a day keeps the devil away. I could not resist. I could not resist. We are Catholic, and part of morning mass has become saying the rosary after morning mass. <laughs> so it's like I do say the rosary every day. I love it. I just love it. Hey, honey. What? I'm still here. Yes, dear. That's not part of our stitchy haul. <clears throat> I went to Hobby Lobby today. To look for, to get some more cotton yarn, because I am out of cotton yarn for my cloth, washcloths. Ended up having a little bit of time, <laughs> went over to the bead section, and I did the bad human thing. I got beads that I think will work well for midnight sale, compared to what the called fors are. Mill Hills, if I order them off of which old, I have to order three packs. I'm collecting a lot of random beads, so. So I guess you need to just go nuts and do some mill hill kits. Well, the problem is mill hill kits come with their own beads. Shit. Hot yarn that I got from Hops of Lobs. This will make Two washcloths that I using the pattern that I make and like a good portion of a third. So I got that, and I got a color he would appreciate. Yup. Yup. So my 
cotton stash is reacquired to get me through the holidays because when I went into Hobby Lobby today, Jesus take the wheel, holy cow, wow, there was a lot of people at 12 something in the afternoon on a Monday. Would you believe, guess what the most, guess what the uh, next most uh, common day to take off besides Wednesday is? Monday after. And then, the Destination Yarn Haul. So this is a DK weight. Double knit weight. Uh, this is called Deep Space. I have another skein of this. I'm going to make Buddy Boy over here a cowl attached scarf. <laughs> he doesn't like loose scarves. He wants it all to be one piece. I'm not entirely sure that one skein is enough. So I do have a second in case I need more. Get the, let's do it this way. Would you like to know what happens whenever I have a loose scarf and I need to use something like it a... It falls uh, off. Oh no, there's one other thing I'm worried about. What? Loose scarf plus snowblower. Well, yeah, this is true. This is a one-off gray... <sighs> This was a fingering weight, so then of course I went and I found another fingering weight. And she asked me. I asked him what we thought would look good. We have those two. I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but they are going to go together. The This one, the blue one, is Lake Michigan. Can't say that word today. Can't say the M word today. O-H. Oh! oh! <laughs> Even though we lost. That is Hall. One other thing. Oh my gosh, I forgot the other thing for Destination Yarn. I picked this out. You didn't show it up you You showed off. It says, you're going to need a bigger stash. Which with a little sharky. Absolutely perfectly appropriate for me all the way around with a shark. <laughs> which is absolutely perfectly appropriate for me all the way around. This is going on my cup. I have become a cup sticker collector. And, um... Just so, uh, okay, because this is, a, for any of our younger viewers, the movie's called Jaws. It's a classic. And someone was so insistent I show something off, and then you forgot to show it to me when we finished Whips. Forgot to remind me when we finished Whips. Uh, because I tried to show up before, and I missed, I tried to make control. But anyway. But, um, there is a finish, so... I, I, you're not going to be able to fold it all out. Oh no, I'm just going to go gonna through. Try. I'm just going to do this. There we go. There we go. I finished Joe's big blue blanket. Last night, I finished it last night. He said he wanted it on the tree, under the tree. Maybe. Maybe. I might borrow it the next couple of days. It's going to be <laughs> cold. You can use it the next couple of days. That's our video tonight. Get, I have a simple comment. Guess what my favorite color is. Can you guess? Why are you bundled up? I'm the one that hates the cold. Someone. Actually, you can see it right here on the corner. I was having a bad day. I was having a week. So someone went to Dollar General to get something Wednesday before Thanksgiving <laughs> and came home with flowers for me. Some of them are not so alive anymore. So I need to take them out of the face. <laughs> and a new blanket for me. I was like, should I get her a blanket? And then they were on sale. If the question of should I get her a blanket ever enters your mind. Yeah, well, especially if they're on sale. Oh, no, uh, no, it was actually which one will I get you? Because I was going to get a much smaller one. And not a nice one. Because of cost. And like, it's half price. I like that blanket. You got me. It's over there. I'm not going to. It doesn't matter. Um, that's been our week. It's been yep. our stitching week. Been a week, that's for sure. It's been a week. It's been a Monday. It's been a whole week in today. Thank you all for dealing with my crazy today. What would we like the people to do? Have a lovely time. Please like, comment, subscribe, bell notification, thingy, boppy, the whole YouTube spiel. Thanks for joining us this week. We hope you had some fun. And we will see you next week. Bye! Bye.